In this video, I'm going to make a real quick uh, statement or reply to a video Spindat did a couple of days ago talking about, but he was speaking about um, is mountain biking a rich person sport? And I'm not replying in like a disagreement. In fact, I agree with what he was saying. And then it's actually not, but I can see why, why people think that, you know, just seeing all these expensive bikes around, but you don't need to spend a lot of money, especially just getting into the, getting into the sport. What I would recommend if you're on a tight budget, just look for like a 50 to $100 mountain bike, like a 90s. That's what I did. I started off with a giant ATX 840 I spent 70 bucks on. Get yourself also a helmet and, uh, you know, maybe a water bottle, maybe a, a tube or something. But just a couple minimal things, really just the bike and the helmet is all you need to get started on day one just to get you out on a, a trail or a path. And just get started and don't worry about what other people are riding or what other people think. In fact, today I'm on my Niner SIR9. I just picked this up for for grand and it goes for like 4,000 new so I got a great deal but it's a very nice bike but I was out here like three months ago on my $25 Gary Fisher and I wouldn't say I'm having more fun today than I was then on the Gary Fisher so I mean my point with all this is is don't worry about it being too expensive just try to get into it with whatever you can um, you know, $100 bike, $50 bike, just make sure it's like a brand like Trek or Giant or something. Not a de department store bike, you won't have fun with that. But get something that rides decent, check fa Facebook Marketplace, get a helmet, 25 bucks for a cheap helmet. This one was more, of course, but you know, you can start off with just a basic helmet. And uh, just start going, get out on the trails. The other thing I'd recommend is find a friend. Uh, find somebody who's, they don't have to be an expert, but at least they've done some you know, off-road riding, mountain biking, gravel, whatever, and uh, just get started. You'll have so much fun. Um, like I said, the price of the bike isn't really corollary, corollary to the uh, to the fun you have. Like this bike, way more capable than my other one for sure. But having a less capable bike is also a lot of fun too, because it's it's quite challenging. These simple features are way cha more challenging on a. Uh, more basic bike. Now this one here just rolls over everything like a monster truck, and that's fun too. It's a bit faster, but what I'm trying to say is you don't need to spend all that money to have fun and get started in mountain biking. $100 mountain bike, $25 helmet, and find a friend and get out there. I mean, look at these pictures right here. Look at how much fun I was having. Look at that big smile. That was like the first few weeks or months that I got into mountain biking. That was my $70 bike with almost no modifications to it. Just having a great time riding and uh, that's the way to start, I think, if you're on a budget. Of course, if you have all the money in the world or you have extra cash and you don't mind buying something nice, go ahead and buy something nice. I'm not saying don't do that. But um, if you're on an extreme budget and want to get started, you don't need to be rich. And as far as the friends, if you don't have a friend and can't find anybody, or if you just have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer as the best I can and be your friend to get started or send me a DM on Instagram, wherever. If it gets you started biking, then I'm happy to help. So all I'm trying to say is there's no law of mountain biking that you have to expend a lot of money or keep up with everybody and buy anything special or expensive or anything like that. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.